everyone, back with another review, or maybe this time it's more of a first impression, quick review, but I wanted to have a look at something that I mentioned in the last video that surprised me. It is the Regenier Dueling Saber. Okay, so, formalities out of the way, as per usual. Um, I did not pay for this with my own money because this one actually isn't mine. That's also the reason why this is more of a first impression quick review. But still, as I mentioned in the last video, it surprised me positively, so I wanted to, you know, check it out at least. Thanks, Frederick, for allowing me to borrow your saber. Um, so, basically, not mine, but paid in private. Not bought directly from uh, Regini Armory, they were not aware that there was going to be a review. The general structure of the video is going to be the same as always, i.e. I will have my talking part, then there will be a picture with the stats and some more pictures. That's not going to be a clip fencing, because if you want to see this in motion, just check out the retro review that I did, because that's where you can actually see this being moved around. So, do that. Then, overall structure of the talking bit, I will go over the... Uh, ordering process just a little bit because again not mine then just what I found having this in my hand what else things I like things I maybe didn't like stuff like that so and there will be the timestamps in the description so if you want to jump around and check out whatever part interests you most feel free to do so that's what they are there for okay so uh, ordering process as I said not mine but um, this was not ordered from Regenier Armory directly, but from a Dutch shop, uh, Smart and Full. And they have a bunch of things in stock, Regenier Armory, Landskrens Emporium. So that's generally a place a lot of people I know order from. Um, from what I've heard, it just works, really. So <laughs> nothing negative to say. Um, I haven't heard anything bad, so that's good. Um, what do we have here then? Well. This is a light Regenier Saber. Who would have thought, actually? Um, if you're not aware of the history, basically, um, Regenier, or a, a, an early version of an, of an Regenier Hima Saber, that is what was my first Saber that was made by somebody, a professional smith, for Hima, really. Everything else I had before that was either done in-house in my club, um, or it was an amalgamation of different parts, just fencing student society blades with a good part from India stuff. So I have very fond memories. I remember liking it a lot and actually looking at it again, just, you know, for the last video, this thing here, um, I still like it quite a lot. Um, but then, basically, Regenier Sabers changed from what I have heard. It is just that they were breaking too much in tournaments, so they were beefed up to just survive longer in those, and that made them rather heavy, hit very hard, and not really fit for what I want to do in fencing, how I want to fence. So we stopped using them, we stopped recommending them in our club. But then at the uh, Kings of the North, I was actually told that the Duelist Saber was actually surprisingly nice. And then when I started checking out the old Regenier again, Frederick brought along this one that he bought. So, you know, I had, it, I had a chance to have a look at it and I was honestly positively surprised by it. So, if you just look at the stats, it's about a meter long, just overall. 84 centimeters of that are the blade. Then you have 13.5 centimeters about with the grip. The blade is mostly straight. The If you draw a point or a line from the point where it connects to the shell and then to the tip, then you get to a depth of about 23 millimeters to point three centimeters for the curve. The blade in and of itself starts at let's check real quick. Ah, 24 centimeters and then it rather rapidly tapers down to about 
13 and then it goes down to 11 just before the tip, so comparatively slim blade. Distal taper, we go from 5 to 3 to 2 millimeters and then we have what you can't really see here, I don't want to take this off because uh, I didn't glue it in, it's not mine. Uh, we get to a rolled tip that is about 12 millimeters. Rolled tips, again, not the biggest fan of them, but they are fine when they're tipped over. So this is nice. The blade has a nice uh, flex to it. It bends at about 4.5 kilos. So that's rather nice, really. Um, the shell, three millimeters overall, just general thickness. Uh, no change in that as far as I could see. Uh, of course lightened by holes and then it is about 9.5 9 centimeters across. So again a basket that is wide enough to protect your hand but still you know moderate enough as to give you enough motivation to actually learn to parry, which I quite like. The grip, um, as far as the uh, thickness of it goes is tapering a bit. It is uh, 23 millimeters here at the end and then it goes down to about uh, 18 millimeters. And then when you have the width it's at the thickest part just above the curve here. It's 33 millimeters, 3.3 centimeters and then it goes down to uh, 2.9 centimeters. So there's a slight taper to it. It's um, just the usual cord wrap and it's quite nice to grip really so this one really quite nice I have to say. POB of the blade is at about 10 centimeters roundabout. So when I picked it up um, I was really quite surprised because it is 680 grams POB of about centimeter, 10 centimeters, that makes it really nice and light to handle, rather agile. Now, there is a warning on the Regnier page saying that this is a comparatively delicate saber and that they can't really guarantee that um, it won't break under abuse. But honestly, from just from how I know Regnier pieces are made and just from having seen it used fencing with it myself a bit. Um, under normal circumstances I would assume this to hold up just fine. That is what I would expect, to be honest. The uh, hilt in particular, three millimeters all the way through that one, that one would be able to take a lot. So I expect this to be quite sturdy and hold up great. Um, I'll update you if anything unforeseen happens. So after the first initial surprise that this was actually a light rigging new saver um, and fencing with it, I, I really quite like it just for general handling statistics. Um, it is quick, it is agile, um, it does have nice enough of a curve to just feel like a nice saver, it is straight enough to still um, be really nice for just thrusting with the true edge. And overall, just I have to say, for its own, I really quite like it. You know? um, if you compare it to the initial first prototype, early version of the uh, Regenie Sabers that I have had or had in my hand, then it is, it is not quite bad. It's a bit lighter. Well, I think it's uh, 720 grams compared to what this has with 680. The POB 10 centimeters is closer, where the other ones had one of 15.5 centimeters roundabout. The blade tapers down much quicker. It's a thinner blade. It's more flexible. Hilt just looks different, right? But it's, I would say, the, the hilt component is probably where basically these two are about the closest together, really. But yeah, different beasts. So if you are looking for a replacement of your uh, Ye Olde Regenie Saber, then this one is probably not going to be bad. But if you are looking for a light saber that is, you know, 
agile and fun to use for something like Hutton or other later schools, or if you're just really just looking for a lighter saber, then I would say honestly, just give this a look. Um, consider the warning that it is not exactly built for the heaviest of heavy tournament fencing, but under normal use, just fencing in a club, if you use it for what it is, a lighter saber, then I don't think you really will have any problems. And it is a nice light saber from Regenier Armory. So this is something that I feel just from having used it a bit, having had it used against me, this is something that I think I can really recommend to guys, people in my club, which, you know, is nice. Happy to see you. Cheers.